The C in CNN does not stand for conservative. Yet CNN put some Bernie Sanders supporters on the spot when one of its correspondents asked those Bernie backers this simple question. Can you define socialism? Socialism? Can you define socialism? Can I define socialism? Probably not, if I'm being totally honest. Socialism, oh boy. I don't think I can. Like Social Security, roads, Medicaid, depending on the form that it takes. Um, anything that's sort of come together and publicly funded and through our government would be socialism. Um, I might be wrong, so if you make me look like a fool on the news, I'll forgive you for it. But Hillary saying, no, you can't. To me, that's just like telling Dr. Martin Luther King, you, yo, you couldn't dream. It's nothing wrong with dreaming. We would want to teach our kids to dream. We don't want to tell our kids you cannot dream. You can dream. And it can be possible with a political revolution. Let me tell you something. Socialism is no dream. It is a nightmare. In case you need a refresher on its definition, it's this a political and economic theory of social organization which requires that the means of production, distribution, and exchange be owned by the community, or really more accurately, the government. In reality, it is the radical redistribution of wealth through eradication of most of the private sector, destroying personal economic initiative and self-improvement. It rewards the idle and penalizes the worker. It deceives the gullible with promises of free services, like free college tuition. Bernie Sanders says that all the time on the stump, but somebody will have to pay that bill. As the late great Margaret Thatcher pointed out, the problem with socialism is that you eventually run out of other people's money. That's the way she saw it, and that's the way I still see it. Now it's time for the way you see it, your comments via social media. Whole lot of you writing in about the presidential race in the Iowa caucus. First up, it's Mary. And she writes, what a mess. I can now understand why many people just don't go. What an absolutely stupid way to vote for anything, let alone a presidential race. And next, it's Steve writing in about Marco Rubio. He writes, Senator Rubio is a well-rehearsed theatrical act. Do we need a president that reads his every comment? Oh, wait! We have one now. G-Man writes in with his take on the three-man race for the GOP nomination. He says, Trump and Cruz will not, will not allow Rubio to overtake them. I remember hearing of an hour-long private meeting between Donald and Ted before the debates began. I believe that one will drop out and support the other before they let Rubio and the establishment take it. And finally, we hear from Stephen, who's disappointed with the Republican Party as a whole. He writes, I've always considered myself a Republican, but having seen how the GOP has treated Donald and Ted just upsets me. In all my 63 years, I would have never thought that the day would come when I would feel the same about the Republican Party as I do about the Democrats, angered and disappointed. Can you say establishment? That's the way I see it. What do you say? We'd love to get your comments. Here's the best way for you to get those comments to me. Go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Our closing comment for tonight, as always, stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.